me and I'm 11 years old. <laughs> me and my friend Carter led a walk out at our elementary school on the 14th. We walked out. We walked out for 18 minutes, adding a minute to honor Cortland Arrington, an African-American girl who was the victim of gun violence in her school in Alabama after the Parkland shooting. I am here today to represent Cortland Arrington. I am here today to represent Hadia Pendleton. I, I am here today to represent Tiana Thompson, who at just 16 was shot dead in her home here in Washington, D.C. I am here today to acknowledge and represent the African-American girls whose stories don't make the front page of every national newspaper. <laughs> whose stories don't lead on the evening news. I represent the African-American women who are victims of gun violence, who are simply statistics instead of vibrant, beautiful girls that pull up potential. It is my privilege to be here today. I am indeed full of privilege. My voice has been heard. I am here to acknowledge their stories, to say they matter, to say their names, because I can, and I was asked to be. For far too long, these names, these black girls and women, have been just numbers. I am here to say, never again for those girls too. I am here to say that everyone should value those girls too. People have said that I am too young to have these thoughts on my own. People have said that I am a tool of some nameless adult. It's not true. might still be 11 and we might still be in elementary school but we know we know life isn't equal for everyone and we know what is right and wrong we also know that we stand in the shadow of the capital and we know that we have seven short years until we too have the right to vote so I am here today to honor the words of Toni Morrison If there, is a, if there is a book that you want to read, but it hasn't been written yet, you must be the one to write it. I urge everyone here and everyone who hears my voice to join me in telling the stories that aren't told. To honor the girls, the women of color who were murdered at disproportionate rates in this nation. I urge each of you to help me write the narrative for this world and understand so that these girls and women are never forgotten. Thank you. Look, it's really hard to get your driver's license, adopt a pet, or get a credit card. But if you're 18 and you want to go out and buy an AR-15 in too many states, that's no problem. Go to a gun show in about 32 states, and you can have one in about one hour. We can't even buy a beer until we're 21. That makes no sense. These semi-automatic weapons were designed for war, not to hunt or shoot clays. They aren't cool toys. They're designed to kill people. 11 mass shootings were committed by men 21 and under. Many used handguns with huge rounds of ammo, and two used an AR-15. By raising the buying age to 21, we might have saved those lives. Enough is enough. It is time for a change. Never again. 